Something that we are, of course, going to be watching because people can take it too far. Uh, this kind of gaming used to be extremely, extremely taboo. But when you look at all the tax revenue possible, states legalizing this, there's some incentive incentivizing. That coupled with, Adrian, like Paul alluded to, that this is considered gaming, not gambling. So that tends to be the caveat. Since 2018, states have earned more than $905 million in tax revenue from sports betting. But the big question is, whoa. How are they spending it? Some states like Delaware, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island have all their money go into a general fund to be used at the state's discretion from anything from road work to social services. So they're among the states with the highest tax rates on each gambling dollar. For example, the ocean state, Rhode Island, they collect 51% of revenue from each bet. The other states use the revenue to target specific services. In Montana, it goes to fund STEM scholarship funds. In Illinois, it's specifically directed to fund improvements to roads and schools. And in Colorado, it goes towards the state's water conservation plan. And you may not be surprised to learn this, that Uncle Sam also is getting his cut. There is a federal tax to every bet of about 0.25% that also goes to a federal fund. Yeah, and obviously everybody's gonna take a piece of the pie with it being so lucrative. I mean, billions of dollars. And we're only at the beginning. Yeah, we're only at the start of this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.